else am I go? I'm going to be teaching how to multiply in three different ways. My mom taught me this by using math labs. First, we're going to estimate so that we make sure our answer makes sense. 28 rounds to 30, so we're going to do 3 times 30, which equals 90, so our answer should be close to 90. The 2 is in the tens place, and the 8 is in the ones place. We're going to be multiplying everything by 3. 8 times 2 equals 24. 3 times 2 equals 6. We can't have 24 ones, so we have to regroup. 6 plus 2 equals 8. We have 8 tens left and 4 ones left, so our answer is 84, and that's close to 90, so I think our answer is correct. Next, we have the area model. We're going to be multiplying everything by 3. We're going to break up the 28 and make 20 and 8. Then we're going to multiply 3 times 20, which equals 60, and 3 times 8, which equals 24. Then we're going to add those two up. Z equals 4. 6 plus 2 equals 8. So our answer is 84. And I think that's close to 90. So I think that our answer is correct. Lastly, we have the traditional method. We're going to do 28 times 3. 8 times 2 equals 24. So we're going to regroup. 2 times 3 equals 6. And then we have to add the 2. So that equals 84, and I think that's close to 90, so I think that's correct. Good job. Excellent. What grade are you in? Beginning of fourth grade. Okay, wonderful. And have you learned this just yet at the beginning of fourth? Not yet. Okay, so I know you're going to, so I wanted to teach you using Math Lab so you would understand the concept. I have a question. Which method do you like the best? I like and the place value multiplication because the area model is kind of hard. Yeah? What makes you like the place value multiplication? Yeah. And I understand it the most. Good. Um, how is the place value multiplication similar to the traditional method? Because you're multiplying three. Okay. And you're doing that in area two. What what happened in the place value multiplication that was similar to the traditional method? Um, you're regrouping. Mm, okay. Show me how where you regrouped in the traditional method. I regrouped over here because you can't have twenty four. Ah, okay. So you put that up there. Yeah. Wonderful. And and this is what what place value that is this two in? It's in the tens place. Yeah. So when you did three times two tens, you had six tens, and then you have your other two. That's great. Um, why did you add in the area model sixty plus twenty four? Why did you do that? I did that because so that I can find out the answer in the this and that. Okay. So what what does this represent? This this region here, this part. Um it represents Like what model are you using? Uh, um the Sherian property? Actually, you are using the distributive property. Um, so let, let's talk about that. How, how did you get 20 and 8? I don't see that in the problem. Well, I broke up 28 from 20 and 8. Okay. Very good. Multiplying both of those parts by 3 gave you the product. What's the product mean? Well, the product is the answer to a multiplication. Very good. All right. Wonderful job. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed watching. Allison enjoyed learning from Math Labs. I enjoyed teaching her, and we'll see you next time. Say bye.